One of the most popular anime shows has a brand new movie that is coming out this weekend and I got the chance to check it out and I'm really excited to talk about it because I'm a big fan of this series and this new movie might be really entertaining to check out in a the theater. So let's get to the review. What is going on film fans? It is Brad from Let's Be Real Brad and today in the channel. I want to talk to you guys about the brand new anime film called Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaba to the Swordsmith Village which is now in theaters. It is basically a complication film of two of the last episodes of the Entertainment District arc which is the end of season two and the first episode of season three that has not been released yet and will be coming out in April in the United States and it is a way to get people to go to the cinemas to see the last couple episodes of the last season which were absolutely epic and incredible and just to get fans excited for the new season this movie is for the diehard demon slayer fans as you see by the trailer that they marketed for the demon slayer fans who have been supporting this series and the mugen train movie being the highest grossing movie of 2020 and being one of the most popular animes that is out right now and it absolutely deserves it and I just love seeing this on the big screen I have a pretty good setup you know a really big TV and a really nice sound system but nothing compares to seeing this movie on the big screen with a bunch of other Demon Slayer fans and having the nice crisp audio and just having the great format that it is and I really do like that they picked the last two episodes and I think they could have maybe picked episode 9 as well because I think it is really important but I think they were trying to match the runtime of Mugen Train which was around an hour and 50 before as well and I thought it was actually pretty good and if you're wondering if it's really worth checking out the newest episode of season 3 in this brand new movie before it comes out next month I would say so because I found that this newest episode was really good and very entertaining and really funny and I'm really excited to see where they're going to take it next and if you are a big Demon Slayer fan you probably already got your tickets for this but if you're someone who doesn't know too much about Demon Slayer I think you are going to be a little confused watching this but this movie does have a small short little recap in the beginning of what Demon Slayer is and what we've experienced so far you might still be confused but I think you'll still find this really entertaining and want to go back and watch everything and you might not get what's going on particularly but I think that you can still watch this and still find some enjoyment out of it unfortunately for a complication movie like this where you have these episodes stitched together and just call it a movie you're going to run into many different issues and the fact is is that is this a real movie and yeah I would probably say so it's in over 2,000 theaters there is a ton of show times for it. it's gonna be out for more in the week and I think it would probably qualify for the Oscars, so that you know falls into a movie in my book but then you could say well it's just a bunch of episodes stitched together and that is true we have seen that in the past with a bunch of Looney Tunes movies but I think the difference between those Looney Tunes movies that were similar to this and those movies had animated segments that were animated for that movie that bridged the gap between each short film during that movie so it was pretty cool but I just found this to be really disappointing in the fact that each of the episodes are literally just stitched together and they didn't really cut anything or sequence it together to make it kind of cool for a more theatrical experience like it literally has the credits of each episode in the beginning and the end with an intro for each of them like it would have been fine if they had the intro the first time and then you just watch it straight through and have the end credits like a movie but you literally have the credits each time and it was just like I was watching it on TV at home like you know like a regular episode the only thing they really added was the beginning intro intro with a recap of everything Demon Slayer and everything else was just a copy and paste from the shows that you would find on Crunchyroll and Funimation or Hulu and just put them on the big screen and make it all look nice in 4k so if you're going into this thinking that's going to be presented in a more cool and like really interesting way all sequenced in like a movie then you're probably going to be disappointed overall guys I don't really have a lot to say about this considering
considering the fact that this is made for the Demon Slayer fans and they're going to go out and support this because they want to see us on the big screen and they want to see the newest episode. But I think if you're someone who doesn't really know much about anime or is interested in checking this out, I would still check out this movie. I think I had a really great time watching the cinema with all the fans who are very respectful and laugh at the appropriate times and no one was talking. And it's just really cool just to see on the big screen. And I can say I would highly check out this movie. It's not as good as Mugen Train because, you know, that's an original feature length narrative movie. But for a movie like this, I think it was really good. And I would totally watch it in this way, you know, maybe in the future. Thank you guys so much for checking out this review. I just want to know below in the comment section, are you guys going to be checking out this newest movie in cinemas? Or are you just going to wait it out till season three comes out next month? I can't wait to hear all your thoughts and opinions. Before you guys check out this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a like as you should, and ring that notification bell so I can see you all in the following video.